This lesson will show how to use Calcplot 3D to illustrate volume of revolution or surface of revolution. For number one, show the rotation of the area bounded by f of x equals the square root of x and the x-axis on the closed interval from zero to two about the x-axis and the y-axis. When using Calcplot 3D, this is always the default plot. We need to delete this or turn this off. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this by clicking the x on the right. Next, from the Add to Graph drop-down menu, select Surface of Revolution. If we scroll down, notice we have an entry for the top function and the bottom function. Because we want the area bounded by f of x equals the square root of x and the x-axis, we enter the square root of x for the top function and y of x equals zero for the bottom function. And then we press Enter. When we press Enter, a check mark appears on the left, turning the plot on. We see the area in the xy plane above. We see the same area in three dimensions on the right. Below the functions, we have an interval for x. Our interval is from zero to two. Enter. Notice it changed the area. Now the area is from zero to two. If we scroll down further, the axis of rotation right now is y equals zero, which is the x-axis. So if we use this slider, we will see the area rotated about the x-axis and see the volume forming on the right. And now we have the volume of revolution, or if we want surface of revolution. Let's move the slider back. There are some additional options below. Notice here we have the option to show a representative rectangle, which we see here in red. We can also move that rectangle across the area. We can also revolve the representative rectangle to see one disk of the volume. If we scroll down further, we can show n washers or shells, in this case, disks, and we can change a number of disks by using the slider. Now, if we rotate the area now, we will see the disks that form the volume. Scrolling down even further, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the washers and shells off from functions of x to functions of y if we choose to. We also wanna rotate this about the y-axis, so now we change the axis of rotation to x equals zero. Before we do this though, let's turn the representative rectangle off. And now we change the axis of rotation to x equals zero. Enter. And now use a slider to rotate the region. And we see the rotation now about the y-axis. And this volume is interactive. We can change the view as we wish. And now let's look at our second example, where we want to rotate the area bounded by f of x equals the square root of x and f of x equals x squared about y equals two and about x equals negative one. We already have the top function correct. We need to change the bottom function to y of x equals x squared, enter. If we scroll up, we can see the area in the xy plane. Let's move the slider back to the left so we don't have the volume yet. We first want to rotate this area about y equals two. So we change the axis of rotation to y equals two. Notice right now the interval for x is from zero to two, but the points of intersection are zero comma zero and one comma one. We need to change the interval for x from zero to one to get the correct, to get the correct volume. And now we can use a slider to rotate the area about y equals two. Notice we'd have a better view if we zoomed out, which we can do by scrolling to the top and using the minus. And now we have a better view. And now we wanna rotate the same area about the axis x equals negative one. So we scroll down to axis of revolution and change the equation to x equals negative one. Enter, move the slider back and move it back to the right. And now we have the volume formed when the bounded area is rotated about x equals negative one. And notice it also labels the axis of rotation, which is a nice feature. I hope you found this helpful.